Hey, uh, I'm Skyler, and uh, I'm super psyched about this uh, Porsche 944 that just arrived from California. Um, so let's do a little exterior walk around. Um, the car is 31 years old, um, but you can see uh, it lived a really nice life in California. <coughs> the guy I bought it from owned it for 18 years straight, and he was a huge uh, earth-moving trucker for the state. So he made a lot of money, had a lot of cars. Um, and in the end, he had to get rid of uh, a couple, so he let this one go really a uh, pretty great price. Um, it's been repainted. The uh, new paint job is pretty amazing. Um, it's, in, it's really, it shines deeply. It's, it's beautiful. There's a tiny bit of orange peel in certain areas, a little bit on the uh, hood here if you get just the right light. Um, and on one of the back, the back wings right here tiny bit of orange peel uh, but the sides are super straight there's a, a, a ding I think on the passenger door um, but check out the quality of, uh, of the paint job here uh, never been hit <coughs> it's had everything it needs uh, its whole life the interior uh, is a bit of a time capsule if you look inside there's a terrier here in the moment, but uh, <laughs> we've got uh, original carpeting. This is the original uh, tobacco brown interior. Uh, the front seats are incorrect vinyl, uh, but the back seats are the original leather. I'll show you what this looks like. I'll get that. <coughs> Up it goes. Uh, so if you just get in tight in here and show them how nice the, the seats look right now. Um, all the original leather, perforated leather. Along the top edge of the uh, backrest, uh, the sun has eaten it a little bit uh, and it's cracked the stitching on the left side. On the right side, looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, this is the tobacco interior. We see a, a, a switched out wheel. Uh, it's actually quite an elegant Momo. I like it, I don't usually, but uh, the rest of the stuff looks really great. The leather on the shift boot. It's in pretty amazing condition. The car looks pretty, really pretty nice. The uh, here uh, armrest in the center console has been redone um, with the same vinyl that was used in the front seats. The color's pretty good. Um, it's really quite nice. Show them the sunroof too. This is the sunroof uh, installation. Uh, the electric motors work in the back. We'll show that to you in the ride and drive. Anyway, intro to a 1985 and a half 944. One. So the rear hatch works nicely. Uh, we gotta release it a little bit at a time. It's got two, there it goes. Um, the struts are new. They support the weight of the hatch. Uh, we got some pretty cool stuff. Like I'm told, the original radio is in here. Um, we have the code. We can look at it later. Uh, we got a 944 shop manual. We got the boot for the um, sunroof when you if you want to pull it out. Uh, I don't know what's in this box. I'm gonna look at it in a little bit. Uh, and other stuff. Anyway, oh, it's the original wheel. Sweet. See, this I like better. I would do prefer that over the Momo, but it's just me. Uh, silver crests. Um, anyway, we see that it's lived, as I said, in, uh, I may not have said, in Pleasanton, California, uh, where it is always nice, always nice, and brutally sunny. So the original carpeting has been uh, eaten by the sun. The shapes are good though. They haven't started to pull away anywhere. Uh, here we see the stitching issue uh, on the rear seat. But on the other side, it seems to be fine. There's just some trim mess. I mean, this is dried out and sun eaten. Uh, but the shapes are good. The quality is really nice. I guess you call it kind of a, a time capsule that's been baked in the sun. <laughs> Nice closure. If it were mine, I'd probably um, work on it uh, for a few days with uh, squeaks in this rear hatch. That's probably what I would do. We start by lubricating the seal uh, and see what else we could do about it. All right, let's take it for a drive. All right, here she goes. Pretty cool. Nice little Volkswagen-y, but you know, it's pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna crank her. <laughs> Big 2.5 liter four uh, runs pretty good. The self canceling uh, turn signals don't notice that on the drive. Helps if you release the parking brake. 
Anyway, the clutch feels really good and smooth. Uh, she doesn't have a, any kind of grabbiness. Power steering works well. And uh, let's see, reverse. Reverse is good. Okay, the uh, transmission really does feel pretty nice. Um, you know, clutch take up is great. Take her out. We're gonna pour on out of here. Nice, no noises out of the suspension. I love, I do love that clutch take up. All right, so we're gonna just take her out of here. Second gear start. Solid, throaty, smooth, great gearbox. Moves really well. Both uh, windows work. Both windows work well. All right, look here. Let's look at the hatch. This is pretty awesome. Look at the back end of the sunroof. Right there. How do you like that? Working sunroof motor. Okay, clutch take up again is really nice. The upshift light is working. She has a miles per hour, a miles per gallon gauge. She's got uh, oil pressure amps and uh, everything you need to know. There's actually a supplementary cooling switch right here uh, that the former owner installed. You see it? I don't know. You, I'll show it to you later. Oh, yeah. Uh, that um, allows you to run the cooling fan a little bit more when you park her. Okay. So she's run, she runs really, uh, really, really nicely. Very sharp. Steering is super sharp. Uh, she has the adjustable conies uh, in her and... Uh, there's the uh, adjustment knob right here, losing the driver's door pocket. Let's see, horn works. Uh, fan works nicely. The air conditioning works well. Temperature gauge, distribution. Uh, the rear wiper works. Let's see, here it is, you can see in the back. Isn't that awesome? Uh, that of course was optional. Uh, this is a, a, a new Pioneer, but of course the original sound distribution thing is still there. Uh, it's gonna get cold. We don't need the air conditioning. Um, again, sweet pickup. I a little bit squeaky. She's a little squeaky, but they they were all. I mean, in the body everywhere. I think if you went to lubricate all the seals and uh, did the silicone thing that you need to do and uh, worked on a little bit, you could really get her pretty tight in here. She has 148,000 miles on her, but again, these are Northern California, out in the driest part of the land, uh, Pleasanton, California. So they've been really easy miles, really easy miles. All right, you can cut it. Heat shifting is awful, awful nice. Clutch take up is perfect. She really does have a great throaty roar from the 2.5 liter four. Take up just couldn't be any nicer. Celebrates. Super great. We try to get her up on the highway. Left lane ends. We could have blown through it, but there you go. Anyway, we go up into fifth. about 2,900 revs at 75. 